Um, just very quickly before I let you go, James, I know um, Penny was talking earlier on about dyslexia and being yeah. diagnosed um, in her 40s. Yeah. You've sort of suffered throughout your years as well, but you just sort of managed to put it literally on the back burner. And, well, I winged it for 10 years on a certain live show because I, 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 that's when I found out I was dyslexic because I couldn't read the autocue. Still yeah, can't. Really and I kind of wing it. Yeah. Um, How'd you do no, that? Well, nobody's found out in 26 years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> you do work out techniques to how to you kinda, Yeah, you, uh, the easiest thing to do is rather than me sat there, I find myself, if, if I've got to do a piece of camera, walking, because the, the person who taught me about it, dyslexia, said, as long as you've got movement and you're doing something, it'll take your mind away from what ah, you've got to do. So walk, walk talking, and talk, walking. and multitask. But why did you, yes, 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 did you Absolutely. not struggle at school with it? Oh, yeah, I mean, I met, uh, the only person just... who got the same exam results as me, I met him the other day, is Alan Titchmarsh. We both got O-level art. Uh, me oh. too, I got art. <laughs> Right, I failed to, cookery as well, they failed geography. To, you're going to have to catch up off camera because we oh, have to go, oh. unfortunately. Just really quickly, American Adventure starts today at 2pm after yeah, yeah. us. And there's a book as well. Gorgeous stuff in there. Thank you so much, James. Oh,